All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another uh, stuff I sold on eBay last week video. Mm. Sponsored by Gatorade Frost Glacier Freeze. Mm -mm -mm. I wish, no. But uh, we're back. You guys seem to really like that first video. And I appreciate all the love and support on it. This week was not the most amazing week orders wise, but we got some orders here. We got some more. It was weird. I had some days where I was like taking 10 plus packages. It felt like to the post office and then like the next day I'd have none. Uh, it was a weird week. It was a weird week. So, but here we go. Let's, let's get right into it. So you guys saw in the video last week, this actually sold while we were filming the video. So that was pretty cool. Um, it was funny because I just picked this one up and I was like, man, I don't know. Um, I just I just got these and I, I don't know if they'll sell and then it ended up selling during the video. So um, so yeah, Boy Scout Boy Scout uniforms. They're 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 good. They're they're a good. I actually just bought another one yesterday, day before uh, today's Monday. So it would have been Saturday or Friday either way. I don't know. I think it was Saturday. I got a very small like toddler size one first time I've seen one that size so we'll see how it doesn't really have patches on it or anything either but I'll see if I can sell it and uh, let you guys know uh, next item here is a vintage Judas Priest screaming for vengeance and Namble hat pin streaking eagle um, sold for $9.99 which is what I like to see some of these pens I sell for real cheap but some of the older classic rock bands and stuff I have them a little bit higher you know like five dollars or seven ninety nine or ten bucks and uh, so this Judas Priest one sold at full price, which I was, uh, which I was happy to see. So there's still eight of those available. Um, and the cool thing about all these pins is I got them all for free. They were just in my grandma's basement from the shop that she used to own, uh, that she ran with my grandma. So, but, oh, excuse me. So these pins, if you're interested in these guys, these pins are new old stock technically. If you want to get down to the brass tacks. Uh, these have just been in storage for decades, but they were brand new for her shop and then she closed her shop down and just never got rid of them or whatever. And now I have them and I'm selling them on eBay. So, uh, 1980s enamel hat pin for Yosemite Sam. I showed this actually in a video on the main channel the other day and then it sold like a couple days afterwards. So I'm pretty sure that's, oh yeah, it is. In fact, um, there was a buyer note, uh, from Benjamin. Benjamin said, I was the one who told Speedy that giraffes have blue tongues. So, thank you so much, Benjamin, for your order. I appreciate that. Uh, Mr. Seymour Buns here. I thought this was kind of funny. I actually got, um, it's actually pretty cool. You can see the little, the little tag there. Those are actually the, the tags that, like, my grandfather and, and grandmother put on this stuff back in whatever year they would have bought this stuff. Uh, but it's funny, I actually got a message about this and it was like, hey, I need this by like this Friday. You know, like what, how can, how fast can you ship it out? And I'm like, well, I'll ship it as fast as you want as long as you pay for the shipping, blah, blah, blah. And we ended up talking about it and, and I ended up sending it first class instead of parcel. Um, and it was uh, only like a dollar more, if that, I think. So I didn't even charge her any extra. And got it shipped out and hopefully uh, hopefully she's happy with that order so I'm guessing it was like a gift for a boss or something I don't know kind of a silly thing but $29.99 plus shipping on that so um, I was pretty happy with that and that was another thing that I got from my grandma's uh, basement absolutely for free the action replay DSI if you guys saw these are like a huge be on the lookout um, I listed this and I think it sold the same night if you guys saw the last video uh, garage sale video it was the lady with the rabbit. Um, she had a whole bunch of gaming stuff. This was included in like the whole lot with all the DS stuff. And I was like, well, I don't really want all, I, I was like, you know, would you let me just buy this? And she was like, sure. And I was like, would you take a dollar? And she was like, sure. So um, that's why I pulled it out because we had just sold one. I knew exactly how much I'd be able to get for it and how fast it would sell. And yeah, she sold for $50 free shipping. So I paid a buck for that. That was, you know, those are awesome to, if you find those out in the wild, uh, if you can get them for a good price, they're definitely worth it. Um, HP Ink, if you guys remember, this was from a, a little bit of an older video. There, I got an entire bag of ink for like $3. There was probably like eight or nine different HP inks in there. 
sold all of that stuff basically like within a week and this one was the only one that wasn't selling for some reason the 564 xl combo pack came with like some printer or some uh, like photo paper or something for whatever reason i couldn't get this one sold and i kept dropping the price dropping the price dropping the price finally it sold so now i'm i've gone through all that ink and i made i made quite a bit like it was three dollars and i probably made 150 200 bucks back on all that ink that hp ink can be some of the HP ink sells really fast for really good prices. Some of it doesn't. So you just have to kind of do your homework on that. Um, this was an old lot too. There was a big box full of actually PC games. And I see PC games quite a bit. But these were like, it was like StarCraft and World of Warcraft. And like, um, I can't even remember. But like just some of the like iconic, like Diablo. Some of the iconic PC games. That you can think of some of the the better ones and they actually still all had their cd keys and everything and it was in a box and everything was individually priced including these blu-rays and dvds and stuff these box sets and it was a big box and i was just like yeah i'll give you i don't remember what i paid for it now i want to say i gave like 20 dollars or something like that for the whole box um and it came with this is the complete set for battlestar galactica um, it came with Babylon 5, the complete set. It came with all those, like, I, I mean, probably 20 PC games, like good ones with the keys. And then it came with a bunch of loose uh, DVDs and Blu-rays. I took all the loose DVDs and Blu-rays, except for these box sets. I took them straight to the pawn shop, got quarter a piece on the DVDs, and 50 cents a piece on the Blu-rays. I don't remember. Just traded those in. I got like eight, nine dollars cash back right there. So if I paid 20, I basically got half my money back like literally an hour later just by taking that junk to uh, the pawn shop could have individually sold if i really wanted to probably made it a little more who cares whatever um and then sold this for forty dollars for for the whole set since it's uh dvds they ship media mail so i just offered free shipping and so that was a good sale uh this bible story i actually have all the i have it's a 10 volume set right i had two copies of volume two and two copies of volume nine and i'm missing volume seven so uh, i looked and the the full set one through ten sells pretty well like around fifty dollars i think for the entire set and individually they're like eh, whatever so i was like well i'll throw up the extra copy of volume two the extra copy of volume nine and if those sell, that'll pay for my copy of Volume 7. I already ordered the Volume 7. It's on its way. This one sold, like, the next day after I after I listed it. So if Volume 7 sells as well, then I'll be good to go on that. I offered free shipping, so I took a little bit of a hit. Didn't really make much on this. But, uh, again, once I have Volume 7, I can throw it with the other volumes, sell the whole 10-volume set, and make some pretty good cash. I think I paid, like, $3 for, the, uh, for all those Bible storybooks. So... Uh, once they sell it'll be good Babylon 5 this is what I was just mentioning in that big box of DVDs and blu-rays and PC games Babylon 5 lotted it all up I had them sitting here for like two months before I finally got off my lazy ass and listed them and uh, they sold for $60 so between that and that I sold $40 on Battlestar Galactica $60 on Babylon 5 so I made a hundred bucks off of like I said I think I spent like 20 bucks on the box still haven't listed the PC games I think I'll do all right on those too um this Funko Pop I got on a local Facebook group. There's like a local, it's like eBay, but on Facebook, you just bid in the comments and there are 48 hour auctions and I find quite a bit of stuff on there, to be honest. I think I paid $3 for this dude. It was, the box wasn't in the best shape and everything, so I put it up at a little bit of a discount. $7.99 plus uh, shipping actually, so $4.39 on top of that. And uh, it actually sold like within 24 hours, I believe. So uh, that was cool and made a couple bucks, no big deal. Um, this Valve Steam Link is actually kind of funny. This went on sale on the on the Steam Summer Sale last year, I believe. I remember seeing somebody tweet about it or seeing it on Reddit or something um, that these that these Steam Links went on sale uh, for, I believe, like like eight or nine bucks, like dirt cheap, basically. Um, I never really needed or had the want for one, but when I saw that they were that cheap, I just went ahead and ordered one because I have a Steam balance anyways. And it sat in my house for over a year and I finally listed it and it sold very, very quickly uh, for $40, free shipping. So that was cool. This is actually gonna be in the next uh, garage sale video that I haven't even edited yet. I haven't even pulled the footage off my phone and my glasses yet. Uh, Mario Party DS, it's kind of funny. There was an old PS2 Slim um and i found it and it only had five bucks and it was really dirty and nasty and i was like do i even really want this but it was five bucks so i was like tempted 
And then I found in a bin full of movies, there was a Lego Indiana Jones DS game case, right? So I open it up, Lego DS, uh, Lego Indiana Jones is in there, but also Mario Party DS is in there. So I just close it and I walk over and I'm like, will you take a dollar? And she was like, yeah. I start buying it. The kid's like, wait. He's like trying to tell his mom. He's like, I've been looking for that game. And I, so I feel bad. I'm like, well, I mean, it, I was like, you can have it, man. I, you know, I'm like, I'm not going to buy your game out from underneath you. And the mom felt really bad. She's like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, it's okay. Like, I, you know, if, if it's his and he's been looking for it, like he didn't know it was in there. It's not for sale. It's fine. And I was walking back to my truck and I hear him open it up and he's like, oh, there's two games in here. And he was like, he st he yelled at me. I was literally about to get in my truck and he's like, He's like, do you want Mario Party? And I was like, sure. And so he like ran over, handed me Mario Party, and then went back to his house, and I got in my truck. The only reason I really wanted it was because Mario Party. Anyways, listed it, $11.99, free shipping, sold that night. Um, I paid a dollar for this beer stein, or a beer uh, b -b -b tap handle thing on like a little trophy mount thing, I don't know. Uh, paid a buck for it quite a couple few weeks back and uh, it, it was go I it wasn't get as many views and stuff as I thought and I was about to start lowering the price on it I'm glad I didn't because then it sold for twenty dollars plus seven dollars shipping so um, These books you guys saw these books. I got them a while back and I got quite a bit of books I want to say I got like 20 of these like vintage 60s uh, Hornady Sierra bullets and some other brands like hunting and reloading um, books uh, I, I think I paid I paid less than a dollar for each book. I know that I got it. You know they wanted a dollar a piece. I think and that's why I picked out as many as I could. And um, I ended up paying I think fifteen dollars for the box of like twenty three. I think it was like twenty three. I paid like fifteen bucks. And uh, this one sold for eleven ninety nine. I think I've already sold like two or three, maybe four of them since this video, or before this video. Uh, so eleven ninety nine again. Media mail super cheap. Um, so I just offer free shipping on a lot of these higher dollar ones and uh, and then bolt action rifles I think this just sold like uh, Last night or the night before so uh, and this one went for $15 free shipping So I, I've already I've already started profiting. I think I I think I had my money back when I sold like the first two books um, And everything from here on out is just profit. So um, those are going really well They're not selling super fast or anything, but they are going uh, the main account, I guess if you can call it that, the gaming account, we'll call it that, that's better. Uh, this account didn't do so hot this week, uh, but there's still a few sales to go over here. So, uh, This 2-in-1 vertical bracket stand, I found this at a garage sale. I think she had like five on it. She was being really fucking shysty on it and wouldn't come down hardly at all. Uh, but I think I ended up paying three, to, three or four dollars for it, um, and it sold for $19.99 plus seven dollars shipping. Halo 2, uh, this was just one of my extra copies. I th No, maybe this was one that we bought, because I think I still have all my extra copies out in the land shed. Um, so it was just super cheap. $3.15, $3 shipping. Uh, Disc-only copy of Halo 2. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's Quest. $20 plus $3.66 shipping. Not too bad. The Donkey Kong games, they always go, you know, just like the Mario games. As long as you list them right, they'll, they'll sell eventually. Final Fantasy 9, I have no idea. I think I got this from like that flea market in Kansas City a while back. I really don't know. All four discs were in there, good shape, and uh, sold it for $8.99 plus $4 shipping. Super Breakout, this one actually has an interesting little story. So I bought one of those old school like brick style uh, Super Nintendo, what am I saying? Game Boys, uh, old style Game Boys from somebody on Facebook. I think I paid $20 for everything maybe. I just wanted the Game Boy for myself because I had one as a kid and I wanted another one. The old school original ones, they're really cool and it was super clean and it came with like 10 games. This was one of the games. So if you look, that little picture in the top right underneath the red label, right next to the right of Super, it says Super Game Boy Game Pack. So I guess the Super Game Boy Game Pack was something that they actually designed to play Game Boy games on the Super Nintendo, right? So I guess when that released, they made certain games have like different features and it might be something really obscure and not even that big of a deal but they made like i said certain games have just one extra little feature if you got the super game boy game pack edition of the game right and this was that version of the game and apparently it's actually pretty damn rare um when we found this out when we were trying to price it we could only find like one other sale and we could tell that that person didn't know what they had either really 
Um, so Katie listed it for twelve ninety nine plus three dollars sixty six cent shipping, and it literally sold in like fifteen minutes. And we were like, oh shit, maybe we like super underpriced that. And she sent him a message, and she was like, hey, just wondering, like, did we um, underprice this? You know, we were kind of not sure what to do with the price on it. It's one of those things that we probably should have listed it higher just to see what happened. Um, but no big deal. You know, we made a quick sale out of it, and, uh, you know, that guy's happy too. But anyways, he ended up hitting us back, and he was like, he's like, apparently this guy was a full collect. Like, he has an entire Nintendo Game Boy uh, collection, complete, 100%, other than, like, a couple label variations like he has super breakout but he didn't have this label variation of super breakout so this was a collector buy and he said as soon as he saw it um he said that he's been trying to find one and that they're fairly rare so he just went ahead and scooped it up um so again i think from now on when we see stuff like this we're just gonna price it high and see what happens like worst case scenario somebody can send an offer or whatever and we'll see what happens and it might just sell for uh at, at full price speaking of which real quick I'll show you guys this. So I got this copy of Tetris actually at the Goodwill. I think I spent three dollars for it. I pick up Tetris anytime I see it on Super on a on Nintendo Game Boy because it's like a ten twelve dollar sale. Super easy. Everybody buys Tetris, sells quick. Um, and I got to looking at it, and on the back, I know this is just my little webcam, but on the back there you can see that white sticker. I have never seen this before. It says Tetris game. And then it has a bunch of codes. Need one line to finish game B. Need 10 to finish B. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And then if you read down here, it says 1992 Lewis Galoob Toys. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Game Genie. Basically, it's a Game Genie sticker um, that has some cheat codes for the Game Genie for Tetris on the back. And I got to look in it, and I could only find one other picture of it. Just one other instance of it even existing on the internet. And I couldn't really figure out anything accurate as far as pricing or anything like that goes. It sucks. They wrote the fucking price on it uh, on the back with Sharpie. And I had to use uh, alcohol to get that off. Otherwise, it would have been like almost mint condition. Uh, but I just thought that that sticker, that Game Genie Tetris sticker on the back is pretty crazy. I've never seen that. Seen a lot of copies of Tetris. Never seen that sticker on the back. And I couldn't find... Like I said, hardly anything about it on the internet. So anyways, I listed this motherfucker for $150 um, just because it's like, I don't know, you know, and, and we'll see. Like I said, maybe I'll get an offer on it. Uh, maybe somebody will reach out and uh, educate me on that. I don't know. So from now on, uh, Super Breakout was kind of a, a learning point. Uh, you know, that's what I'm going to do with cartridges that I find that I'm like, wait, this is different, you know. Uh, Super Mario World SNES sold for $14.99. Uh, we've sold two of these. Looks like we have two copies left, plus $3.66 shipping. Um, Super Mario World, again, it's like it's like Donkey Kong. You know, Those are just going to sell all day, every day. If you get them at a good price, pick them up. The Spider-Man, Sony PlayStation 1. I think this was another thing that we got in a lot, and we didn't really realize it, but this is like the actual black label, not like the greatest hits or whatever. Um, this game is fairly rare. It doesn't sell for like the most money in the world, but still $14.99 isn't bad. Plus $3.60 shipping. And then I actually haven't shipped this out yet because I should have shipped it out this morning, but I, I missed it somehow. I guess this sold yesterday. Pokemon Sun uh, for 3DS, $17.99 uh, plus $3.60 shipping. I believe this came out of the DS that I got in that auction i believe that's where that came from that auction that i got all that stuff for 75 bucks i believe this was what was inside of the 3ds that i got in that lot of stuff so anyways that is everything actually hold on i think we've got one more buyer's note um yeah so on the copy of super mario world snes uh there's a buyer's note from lewis and he said, love the videos, Hova. Been a big fan since Black Ops 2. I'm always looking for classic games, and I'm glad I found your eBay page. So thank you so much, Lewis. I appreciate that. Um, also, there's something that has a bid right now. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to show. I'm going to start showing stuff that has bids, by the way. One second. Let me go to listings. I forgot to open this up before the video started. I feel like we had less sales this week, but I talked longer. Is that a bad thing, guys? 
Um, 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 here it is. Boom. Boom. So, uh, here we go right here. We got a high bid of 99 cents, a whopping 99 cents on this broken Pokédex that actually someone sent to my P.O. box. Doesn't work. Batteries are all corroded, or the department was all corroded or whatever. I just threw it up as damage repair, broken as is for repair or whatever. Somebody messaged me and was like, Hova, if I buy this, will you autograph it? And I was like, uh, fuck yeah, dude. I'll put a Sharpie bitch, a Sharpie, a Sharpie penis on that shit right there, bro. Uh, so anyways, 99 cent bid on that. I'll start showing you guys the auctions that have bids on these videos anyways guys love you thank you so much for watching the video and uh make sure you're watching the content on the main channel that has to do with all this garage sale stuff if you're interested and let people know if they're watching those videos and they don't know about these what i sold last week videos and uh spread the word and i love you and one of these days we're gonna take over ebay and the internet and uh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be good times love you see you on the next one bye